Okay, hi, hello, and welcome to my channel, Super Linux. So, uh, in this video, guys, we're going to uh, see how we're going to use the microscope. This, this is a microscope, okay? Uh, I'll show you it uh, in total, okay, in its totality, everything. So, this is our biological microscope, okay? And so, what you're going to do is uh, use uh, one of those uh, uh, objective lenses of the microscope on this uh, Nikon D800. See, it's a D800 camera. And it doesn't have to be a D800 camera. It has to be any DSLR camera, okay, uh, by which we are going to uh, install uh, the uh, I, the objective lens which has to be of RMS side uh, type RMS the eyepiece uh, the objective lens is here not the eyepiece the objective lens is here must be of RMS size so first of all make sure that your uh, objective lens is uh, an RMS uh, size which means the diameter is around like 19 millimeters. 19 or 20 min or 20 millimeters. I don't know which which, but it's just like that. Okay, it's called RMS. Okay. Uh, so, in order to do that, first we have to uh, open or make the camera be opened. Okay, I'll show you exactly. So we're going to. First, click here, okay, like this. Now, make sure also that the lens is uh, or the sensor inside is covered by the DSLR and the camera is off, okay. And maybe say why, just because I want to make it make sure that you don't hurt your camera anyway, okay, by any means. So, now uh, if you want to install anything other than your uh, the SLR lens, your, cam your camera lens, okay, you have to use this ring, it's called, which we call a T-ring. From this side, it's an F-mount, okay. From this side, is called, uh, here, the diameter is 42 millimeters. That's why they call it uh, M42. M42 is 42 millimeters, okay. Uh, don't care about the, t the naming, that's uh, the writing here, okay. But it's good to have because if you have another one, uh, which is a Canon, they have different teeth from this side. Okay, this side here, from that side. Okay, not this one. Here, there's different teeth. See the teeth here? Okay, the threads are different. So the way it will sit inside is different. So first of all, you can see here there's a, a little dot. Okay, on the camera, this is this little dot on the camera, and I have here, where it is, where is it, I mean, there's a little dot in the, in the ring, okay, this is the ring, so there's a little dot, so what we have to do is match them, okay, and, and remember, okay, you have to see it clicking. Okay, once it clicks, you can, it doesn't uh, go left or right, okay, and it doesn't wiggle, and here, this one is the one you click, and you remove it, okay. Now, we have to remove it just because you want the fitter or the adapter for the uh, RMS uh, lenses, okay, on the camera. So first we have to take, this is the RMS inside, RMS, the size is 20 or 90 millimeters, okay, and from outside is uh, M42, and we just install it like this, okay, let's see which side is the right one, because it could be one of the sides, yes. Okay, remember this here okay is free it can go to the end okay this is good for focusing the lens so when i remove one of the lenses okay
okay, from the microscope. This is an Aramis lens. This is a four, four times it's written on it. Four times, four X. Okay, I think you can peel it. Anyway, it's four times. So we have to install it inside. I don't know why it's my time like that. Just trying to focus the camera. So it's not focusing, but it's okay. You can read it. So this is it. Now this is has to be a little bit fastened. So this way you can focus in and in and out the camera, the, the lens. Okay, on the view, okay. You can see this this edge is getting deeper. Okay, so I'm trying to show you that it this is how it focuses. Okay. Repeating just for you to understand. So this is now an edge inside. Okay. Now I have to get it out a little bit. Now we install it on the camera. Okay, where's the dot side? Yeah, here, correct. I click now yeah uh, first I want to remove it because I want to show you something okay how the camera works a little bit so I understand why what we are doing what we're doing I don't have a, a real uh, or the dedicated uh, zoom lens for this camera so I did not buy it for that because I'm an astrophotographer I don't need it I have my own telescope but for the fun of it and I do have a microscope I have lots of lenses so I don't need that. So what I'm going to do is turn on the camera first here. Okay, so so turn on the camera, and you can see it here uh, working. Now, see when I this is the the the, uh, the camera inside uh, where the lens is not. Uh, it's still concealed, okay, so we're going to uh, remove the seal, which is the uh, Or you can say the cover, this is a lens, okay, yeah, I mean not a lens, it's a mirror, okay So now you can see the sensor inside, there's a sensor inside it, okay, see when I close back again so This is the mirror, okay, which I'm moving, okay, now when I uh, Take here back, see, this is my hand, you're not seeing it uh, perfectly because it's not focused, okay, and what you're seeing is just the colors, reflection of the colors. So this is how the cameras work, without the lens they are nothing, okay, so it's just a sensor, that's why you, what you are actually buying, so, uh, and the computer with it, okay, so we're gonna use this, okay, let's see. Now I can see here I have the uh, periodic table of spectra. Okay, let's see what will happen. So uh, let's uh, zoom the camera a little bit. Okay, and just put it down. Let's see now what happened. Now it's working, see, uh, you have to click on this this LV button, so in, in order to open the, the lens, so if I click it back again, it closes, okay, so now we can see, now the world spectra is magnified, see, it's this magnified, <laughs> okay, so now I can take pictures as usual, okay, and maybe it's not that focused, but it's okay, See the letter A. See, because this is a four times, so you can see you are seeing the letter A is magnified four times. So as if I'm adding a magnifier, okay. See the word table. Okay, and I can then zoom it with a screen. See. 
okay, I don't know. Anyway, so. Yeah, so that's it. That's all about. And even if I use the this side uh, here, this here, this is the fi uh, viewfinder. Now, this is what the mirror is working for. Working for why it's working for because the lens here will now show you what's inside the. I, can, I hope I can show you what's inside. Okay, I can show you what's inside the viewfinder. Okay, so the in order for the lens to show you what's going on, see the lens side is here, so and the viewfinder is up here. So, how can you redirect the light? You can see always directly. So, in order to make it go like a Z letter, like this, okay, in order to make it go like a Z letter, like this, you need something to reflect it. So there's a mirror here, reflects it here, and there's also another kind of reflection from kind from some kind of a prism. We call it penta prism. Penta is made of five, five sides. Okay, it's not cubic, fully cubic. It's penta side, penta sided, five sided. So, okay, penta prism. So it makes the light go up, up, up. So this way you can later find see it here. Okay, so yeah. So this is our camera for now. This is how, can I, how you can use the camera as a magnifier. Okay. Thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe to our channel and see you later. Bye.